one free. That's right. Buy a gallon, get another one free. Don't delay. Head on down to Harris Ace Hardware today because this incredible offer ends Monday, March 25th. Buy one gallon of paint and get one free now at Harris Ace Hardware on West Cherry Street in Jessup. And check out the Red Hot Buys for March. You're going to say big. It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. Tomorrow's home game against Statesburg Blue Devils will decide who wins this first region series of the year as currently it's tied 1-1. Statesburg wins at home Wednesday afternoon by a score of 5-1 as Jackson Proctor hit a three-run home run to break the game open in the bottom of the fifth. Line scores in the game. Statesburg five runs on eight hits. The Jackets one run on just five hits. Series now tied 1-1 with the pivotal game in the series set for tomorrow night at Howard Bill Warren Field at 6 p.m. After the loss on the road, we talked with head coach Justin McDonald. All the other guys in the region wanted to go three games, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I wasn't really for it, but now now I, I, I got where I love it. So you find out a lot about your team when, when you go down. Uh, it's been a while since we've been down one to one in a series in region play. You know we hadn't lost many region games here in the past few years, but you'll find a lot about our guys on Friday. And we need a big crowd. We need to have the bow. And, and you know I can go back to it needs to be a playoff atmosphere because it does make a difference. It uh, it energizes the entire place, and we need a big crowd there Friday. Another good outing on the mound for a pitcher again. I'm yeah. surprised Cooper's in the role yeah. there. He hadn't pitched much all year, but he does a good job yeah. and holds him to five hits. You take him out with runners for first and second, and the they got an unfortunate home run over the right field wall. I knew there was going to be trouble on the right field line. I didn't realize they were going to get out, though. So yeah. uh, Proctor hit it pretty well. Yeah, this field plays different. Uh, it kind of goes directly out. Not a lot of foul territory down the corners. But, you know, <laughs> the guy had not scout report for the last five, six games. He hadn't touched a breaking ball, and then somehow he got a barrel on one. I thought it was foul off the bat. I was writing down uh, at the strike, first pitch swing. But, again, it is what it is. Uh, we got to do a better job of getting a big hit. I thought we – Hit some balls hard right at them, but, uh, again, we just got to get the big hit when we need it to kind of separate ourselves. And, you know, coming in these series, we talk about it. You know, we won game one, you win the series game two, but throughout that process, when you get momentum in the game, you got to keep it. And we didn't do that tonight. We allowed them to, to get back in it, and it felt like every time we was on defense, we were on the we were, we were kind of defensive because they were putting pressure on us, and we didn't put a lot of pressure on them late in the game. But, again, big game Friday. You win Friday, you still control your own destiny. So uh, we'll have Stanfield going. So uh, he's, a, he's our guy right now. And, uh, uh, again, I've just I just got to find a way to, to get a win Friday, and then, then you'll be back even. Hopefully, like I said, we'll get a big crowd out there. Come on out, support the Home Run Club. Great concessions. Oh, yeah. So Friday night, not much to do. And Jessup on Friday night, come watch a great baseball game. Series tied 1-1. Like I said, this will be for the series. should be fun. That's right. And, and you know, each if you win two out of three from here out, you're region champions. And, and that, that's the goal. You want to win them all, but now you're one-to-one. So it's, it's a playoff series basically now. So as, as you got a game three, do or die. So, uh, again, we need the whole place packed. And, and I, I can tell you, if you don't think you matter, then, then you come ask me because I know, I know just me being a coach in this community and, and, and this being a baseball community, when that place is filled up, it, it energizes me too. So and I know our kids feed off of it. So if you're listening, we need you there Friday night. We need it filled up. need a lot of, a lot of energy, and you, you can be a factor if you show up. And again, the game set for tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Have a pregame tomorrow at 5.50. In the game last night, senior pitcher Cooper Martin got the start, pitched well into the 15th inning, allowed just five hits on. In the game, struck out seven doubles in the games last night by David Mosley and Zach Thomas. We encourage you to make plans to come out and support the Jackets in this important game three. And the Jackets now 1-1 one in one region play, 9-9 nine and nine overall for the season. Pitching's been excellent. Defense is good, but the team continues to struggle with the plate. It's been consistently three, four, five hits a game. The bat rack has to wake up, heat up for the Jackets. Today at 4 p.m., we encourage you to come out and watch the Arthur Williams Middle School Baseball team play in the semifinals of the conference tournament. Once again, the game at 4 o'clock today at Bill Morris Park, Wayne County against Ware County. Jason Osteen has his team in position to win another conference title with the win they advance to the title game. Again, the game set for today at 4 o'clock at Bill Morris Park, Wayne County, Arthur Williams Middle School against Ware County's Middle School. Wayne County's tennis team in action yesterday against Jeff Davis. The boys win all five matches. Aiden Howard wins his singles match 7-5-6-3. Austin Brown wins 7-5-6-4. Barrett Miller wins 6-1-6-2. Doubles team of Dawson Daniels and Alan Oliver wins 6-3-6-1. And Jordan Bolano and Griffin Cernsey win 6-1-6-2. Girls lost 4-1 to Jeff Davis. The lone win comes from the doubles team of Mara Popkin and Kara Green. They won their doubles match 6-4-7-5. NCAA March Madness begins officially today. My bracket is complete. Here's my rundown. Of my bracket beginning with the Elite Eight. In the South bracket, I've got Virginia taking on Tennessee. In the Midwest, I've got a Kentucky North Carolina matchup. 
Out west, I've got Syracuse, my surprise team, taking on Michigan. In the east, I've got Duke taking on LSU in a nice ACC-SEC matchup. Advanced to the Final Four, I've got Virginia, North Carolina, and Duke all from the ACC, and Michigan advancing to the Final Four. In the semifinal games, I've got North Carolina over Virginia and Duke over Michigan, so I've got a North Carolina-Duke National Championship game. The ratings will be huge, and in the end, I've got the best coach in the country in Mike Krzyzewski and Duke and the best player in Zion Williamson and Duke cutting down the nets to get another national title for Duke in basketball. The good news is now that I've jinxed Duke, someone else will most likely win, cut down nets, but I'm going again. Best coach, best player, history shows that's a winning formula, ACC final. This is basketball, not football. In football, it's SEC. In basketball, it's ACC. Duke and Krzyzewski cut down the nets on April the 8th. That's going to do for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by friends at Harris Ace Hardware. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in...